what's up guys the boy Adam link media if you are new to my channel please make sure you click on the subscribe button below don't forget to like this video comment on it and uh, share it on all social media platforms so guys it's a monday morning and i uh, wish you a great day ahead honestly guys i pity some fans who will do anything for celebrity mainly because they're in love with them or maybe they think they might end up being those uh, artists wife or boyfriend at the end of the day so kiss daniel just shared a pick a video and photos of his girlfriend and baby mama i was surprised because nobody even knew kiss daniel had a son but yeah chris daniel had a son with a very pretty lady so this kiss daniel decided to be sharing uh pictures uh her pictures and videos online just to show everybody how that that seal she is taking he, he, sorry he is taking don't forget about last year beginning when kiss daniel was dating chidema there was a rumor that chidema was pregnant for kiss daniel that uh, kiss daniel was going to welcome a, a baby soon chidema that rumor was it wasn't true because the real person that Kizana want to work on baby with is this particular girl that I'm showing right now. It's not Chidema. I think that's the reason why Chidema and Kizana decided to cut off their relationship then. But now Kizana has finding fit and uh, comfortable to be sharing her pictures online just to tell of, uh, to just to tell his fans that see I've been taking. I'm not a single. I'm in love. I have a girlfriend with this son that I want to be taken care of. But a lot of fans did not take this lightly. You know, some fans will be so extra to make videos. And there's this particular girl who wasn't taking it lightly with uh, flavor. And she decided to make a video really, really hungry about this development. And uh, she wasn't able taking it lightly. Like I like oh, I have said, do not kill yourself for all those celebrities because they are in a relationship they are somebody they are in love with so guys watch this video and see this girl trying to you know she was so disappointed with the announcement that ja kisdane made and posting that girl's picture so watch it guys don't, don't wait, see, see, don't crush that. This wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what is it? Every minute, every minute, Daniel, what is doing? What is doing? You don't understand. She's still the girl now. She's fine. Girl. Who's she fine? She's skin. Jesus, I'm only trying to walk now. Tell your friends to do anything for me. What's on the line? Eh? Yes, I said I'm a superman. Wait, don't do this. So guys, that is here. the girl was like was slightly hungry with the announcement, with uh, finding out that uh, Kiss Daniel is not single, that he has a girlfriend and uh, a baby as well, a son who is like grown up. I think that son is close to more than a year old now. So, so guys, moving over from Kiss Daniel, Cardi B want to be USA next president, and uh, she said. It's not that hard that all she needs to do is just to go back to school, finish maybe like two years or three years in school, and then the next year that uh, she might be qualified to be a uh, U.S. president, and that she wants to be U.S. president. You know, Cardi B has really, really fulfilled, like really, really uh, uh, ascertained some level of, uh, 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 of things in, in her life, like being a stripper. She she killed that job very well she did her part in being a stripper then she went on being a a, a musician and, and she did a proper job in, on that too and now she just decided she just woke up and said you know i can be u.s president it's not that hard i do feel like if i go back to school and focus up i can be part of congress I did ask, I have so much idea that makes sense. I just need a couple of years of school and I can shake the table. I think I want to be a politician. I really love government. 
even though I don't agree with government. So that is what she said. She said, you want to be a con part of Congress. You want to be a president. And I think, yeah, why not? If she has the zeal, she has the will on, of uh, doing that, she should go for it. But uh, I don't think she's going to do that anyway because she's super busy to even go to classes. I'm moving over. I'm going to be talking about this presidential jet saga. You know, uh, yesterday... President Mohamed Buhari, our president in Nigeria, her daughter, yeah, no, sorry, his daughter flew to Bauchi on a private photographic uh, uh, work, private photographic work, photographer work, on our private, listen again, private photographing work. But she decided what really made people to really uh, pick this issue up is that she decided to use the presidential private jet one of the presidential private jets sorry not the real presidential private jet but one of the presidential private jet that is to tell you when she uses that that the 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 the, the expense the expense the expenses uh, the expense cost the cost of running that jet to Bauchi to and flow will be taken care by taxpayer by the government taxpayer that's we dangerous so a lot of people were okay with that because they said they only voted for Mohamed Buhari so anybody who is entitled to use a, a presidential private jet and the taxpayer will be willing and ready to pay for the cost will be only Mohamed Buhari and if and if anybody in uh, part of Mohamed Buhari family uses that private jet, then that is a taboo and it's not it's highly not accepted. And I kind of like have agree with that. But the clause is if that private jet is being flew to Bauch and Mohamed Buhari is inside that private jet at that moment, at that moment, Mohamed Buhari is inside that private jet at that moment, and that uh, the girl, the, uh, his daughter is in, inside, is also in, inside that private jet at that moment, and they flew to Bauchi to our floor. There's nothing wrong with that. But not this girl alone taking a private jet that is meant for the government, for all of us. We are fueling it while doing all those steady maintenance. It's from our own money, not high loan using heat to Bauchi and for her private work and uh, people and the funny thing is that when the presidency want to respond to this claim they said it is a uh, it is a normal thing a normal thing for uh, a president family to use the presidential private jets on their private trip can you imagine the kind of response these guys are giving one thing i don't like about this government is that they don't know how to respond to things. There's a way you respond and people will just let the issue just go like that. But you respond to things like, like, okay, even if we talk, nothing will happen. We can do whatever we want. We can do, well, even if we give any explanation, say, even like, we don't even give any explanation, nothing will happen. That is the thing I don't like about this government. Like, there are diplomatic way and uh, political way to, dance around issue that people will like okay maybe it was a mistake or maybe yeah something just happened or they will just find another excuse but these guys will tell you see they are right it's a normal how can you say it's a normal practice then why is Buari fighting corruption Buari stop the MNDA's uh, uh, MNDA's uh, people to stop using private jet it stop uh, a lot of MNDA the ministers and uh, so many, many other governments uh, people working for government, for working for the public, it stopped them from using private jets. And yet, you allow your daughter, who is not even working for the government, who is as the same taxpayers as mine, to be using private jet, to be using our private jet. You understand what I mean? So I think uh, that is not good. She should have hired another jet, you no know, entirely. To bow and, and uh, come back, I think that would be so much great. Nobody will even raise alarm as much, but I think because of the response that they that the presidential gave.
to the public that was make people like okay you guys think it's a normal thing so guys i'm gonna end this video here you already know it's a boy again i'm telling me that but before i go i want to tell you a very important thing there's gonna be a giveaway there's gonna be a fifty thousand naira giveaway on my channel by one of my good friends and an artist zani g so stay tuned guys and watch our videos of giveaway then you will know how to win the prize so it's like a way of uh, of appreciating uh my viewers and appreciating his own fans too so guys i'm gonna leave you here it's a boy again i'm slink media make sure you like this video comment and share it on all social media platform and don't forget to comment uh don't forget to uh to subscribe to this channel and then follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Instagram is Adam Slick Media and on Twitter is Z Bradley. See you in my next video. Bye.